paranormal and said, I did. Hey, she wanted everybody to know this, but Mary Jo had already been in contact. She doesn't want you to know this, but we do. Boston said, I hear they got rabbits up there. Up here. That it's a bedroom, it's a kid's bedroom, and they got rabbits. Rob. Boston has no idea. Boston and that group said, my daughter said that we have rabbits that run up and up there. And that turned into wild you special forces. Rep. No, I'm being 100% honest. I got drilled on this thing that I had wild attack rabbits running into the floorboards, <clears throat> making thumping sounds, making all producing paranormal and cutting communication lines. Guys, this is where did he get this at? That's what I like to know. That's what I want to know. Was <laughs> that you, Rob? Was that you? Like, who grilled him on these special forces rabbits chewing communication wires they were in the floorboards? When he's making these memes about me with these rabbits, I'm like, I don't get it. Like, what, what did I say that made this man think this? Well, you're Why allergic to nothing? rabbits. You're, and that's all your thing was, was that the you had an allergic reaction and found out there were rabbits there and were like, dude, you need, I asked you what animals, you know? I did, I specifically said, what animals do you have? He said, one dog. I never saw a picture of the dog. I don't know how big he was, little, oh, I didn't know. It's more than one dog. Yeah, but that, he has more than one dog and he's got a hundred cages of animals everywhere. And like, why Here. didn't he tell me that? I, if he told me, I would have just taken my medication and brought an inhaler. But he had chinchilla, which he did not say until again our message and, and hamsters, that I, I get extremely sick and I can't even be around them so right. I even came to that house if I knew he had a chinchilla but they lied to me they never told me they had any of those animals in that house I well, want to know why the how cold this room is because his fucking nipples can cut some oh ass. God, <laughs> I can't fucking please <laughs> take not my eyes. on here stop <laughs> <laughs> Look, oh my god. Oh my god. You know um, all of it, all of this is just pure. So the how damaging is all that? That's some damaging stuff. That they thought the same thing. REM pods, everything. Everything they thought. But Jay was coming after us because anybody who attacks them says that the house isn't haunted, doesn't agree with them, doesn't want to respond or comment on their stuff. This is what Jay does. I didn't say anything. I just said, hey, listen, I, I we this is we debunked everything, blah, blah, blah. It was, oh, the doll. The doll's haunted. No, the doll is a massive doll as it is. She's probably 30 inches high. She's on a stand for probably a two foot, three foot doll. Her feet hang off. So when you touch her, she's gonna move. She's not, she's only hold on by her arms, so she's wobbling everywhere. It's not haunted, Jay. She's on the wrong stand. It doesn't take a genius to figure this out. Um, so they made, somebody made up a fake profile. We don't know who it is. I don't know who it is. I didn't even know this was even going on until one day I got a death threat, a death threat from Elkie saying that um, I'm attacking her child. I'm attacking her child from what? What, what am I doing? I woke up to death threats, to people calling me saying, oh my God, you need to go to the police right now. I'm like, I gotta go to work. But I did go right after work and I made a police report. I did. And then you have Jay saying that I'm calling his house to be like, I'm lying saying I'm a cop. Why would I do that? That's what cops are there for. I don't need to, I don't need to be a fake one. I'm gonna go to the cops because I have enough to probably put you behind bars right now of all the shit you said and slander you said against my name. What department are you with? Now, the guy didn't say, I'm with, like say, this is only an example, I'm with the Philadelphia Police Department. My name is is is, is uh, Sergeant John Howen, sir, and my badge number is one, two, three, four, five, nine, or whatever, right? The guy barely says where he's from, shoots off a badge number, I said, repeat it again, and he says, are you going to give me this information? I said, no. He said, no. I said, no. First of all, I said, this woman had already allegedly called up posing as a state police officer in December. Why would I give you any information when you cannot verify yourself? 
why he did. I said, how about this? I will call up the Anfield Police Department and talk to Lieutenant so-and-so. No need for that. No, 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 no need for that, he says. No, because I want, I would rather have had a, what they call a, a inter-department phone call where it would have been between that precinct and Enfield, and they would have been able to verify him. Well, it gets worse, guys. I left, hang up the phone, didn't give me any information, except for, you know what, everybody knows I live in Enfield. I get to the doctor's appointment as I'm waiting. I called up that town where he said he was, and it says, I'm calling up to verify if you have a patrolman, detective, anybody, by the name of this name. She types in, no, we don't. Maybe it's a substation. Why? I said, I live in Connecticut. Okay. That's what she said. Okay. I said, somebody called up saying they were you can this see person. His name was Officer Hartman. I have, it. I have the beginning of yeah. the recording. So, and she said, uh, she goes, well, what is this about? I said, Mary Jo Chutley. Oh. She says, my, now the officers, she repeats my name, Mr. Yapel. I advise you to go down as soon as possible and let Enfield know what's going on. Let them know what's going on. I said, okay, I said, I'm at the doctor's office. As soon as I get out of the doctor's office, I'll go down to the PD and I'll let them know. No, no, no. She said, no. You can do it right now. You can put the put it, put the complaint over the phone. Her whole demeanor changed from like, okay, relaxing to like, as soon as I mentioned Mary Jo's name, it's all speculation, but I think it was kind of weird. So then that's when we said enough is enough. Enough is enough. How much more, how much more can a person take now, this is on her account. I just proved to you that we're not looking at this because these guys want to hear this. Yeah. These guys, they don't want to hear about uh, some, some crazy woman up there. Get... Yeah, you can't let me light this down, man. If, if this was like down in uh, El Salvador or something like that, we wouldn't have to worry about her because uh, things would be different down there. Okay, then right. let's go back to that. Go ahead. Yeah, because they... <laughs> so I put on that post about um, his daughter it was brought to my attention that his daughter, the 17, 16, whatever how old she is, is the LLC to the Demon House. Why is a 17-year-old an LLC? Well, it came to light that Jay is on disability. LP owns the house. Jay is on disability. And the child, just one child, owns the LLC. You think about that. Then all of a sudden, that's why they got mad, probably, and that's probably what the death threat was, but they were saying it was some person, Francisco or Fran something, I don't know, or I think it was Francisco, I don't even know. Um, somebody made up a, a post, but I think it's because I called them out and said that the child had an LLC, and that pissed them off, because I'm sure their town doesn't know, or nobody knows, that they open up an LLC under the child. Now all of a sudden, Mackenzie's in the way. Mackenzie's on the screen. McKen oh, it's my house. I have to pay the electric. I have to pay the water. I have to do this. Mary Jo's not supportive. And then she starts slandering me and making fun of me too. now. No, honey, I didn't do that because to piss you off, I did to call your parents out, okay, to show people what they're doing and that, and then allowing you to attack an adult. Calling me names on these podcasts and also i'm going to show you a couple of the podcasts now so people can see what i'm talking about because this is where the shit gets down to the worst me and the rest of the family decided to keep it out of our facebook site but since mary jo chedley made a public statement that she exposed the frauds but i queen in high school i don't understand that grown-up people can get away with it if she would be in high school she would be hit as accountable for her actions like boy in class a i give her credit that old woman would make 
the list of the list for being a mean girl queen in high school. I don't. Well, this is one of her fake accounts. She sends me in church. This is why I talk about being a Templar. I did a thing with Scott Allen, who was a medium. She takes this thing here. I'm in church. Now, I'm religious, right? She has me in church and has this girl that originally had a brush who was making some makeup across my head, puts a giant red, a red rubber penis, right? And says, now your exes is incomplete. She took a holy church, which I was swore to defend to the day I die. And mm. puts me into a church with a big rubber dick and says, now your ex is, is complete. That is so hey, wrong. That's now, that wait, wrong. Wait, I just want to say to every single person out there, okay, that are saying that making a laughing stock and all this kind of stuff like that, especially Renee, you just said that. I want to tell you something. You're absolutely right. These people right here are doing this is making it a laughing stock because that right there shows you how up. sick, how sick people are being. Yeah. That's sick. Now yes, it does not even better. Now you know what? Saying, don't yeah, use, no, don't use yes. third party people to book locations. Just go straight to the location. Don't give them your money. Yes. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Fuck Let's them. Yes. This is all the stuff. And right here, right? And she said she acts like the victim. She, act, That's she proof plays the victim. She, she shows things that we say, but she won't show you the whole thing. She'll what take bits and pieces. Now, so on this radio show, I was watching things. Now, do I swear? Yes, I am. Do I? I'm a human being. I worked in construction. I, I, I've seen a lot of bad guys. I worked in the trade fields. I did a lot of things. All on that. We're all human. Now, yeah. while I'm on this show, I see these things where she's attacking me, right? So I get to the point, like anybody, anybody, right? I lose at this point. And I said, you know what, you fucker, excuse my language because I got kids here. I said, I, I'll take my I'll take my foot and shove up your fat ass because I said, you want to fucking dance, right? You want to play, you know? I said, this dance. is it. I'm tired. I guys, everybody said stay out of it. I did from September all the way to the end of February. We ignored her attacks because we figured, you know what? She's Kind of stupid. We don't want to yeah. deal with this. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Let me finish one second, Kenzie. We stay out of it. We didn't even mention Rob's name. Rob kept coming, threatening us for no reason, no reason at all, just to provoke. So she, pro now she knew what she was doing that night on John's show. She was provoking and provoking. No one. She's gonna get a response because I'm talking about my brother dying, about my sister dying. So I, I let her have it. Now she takes that clip about fat. She goes to this woman, right, named Alex, right, and says he's body shaming overweight people. Guys, my wife suffered for years with weightness. She went for weight loss surgery because she almost died because of her weight. That's Elka. She doesn't talk about it. She doesn't brag about, you know what, I was overweight. I lost. No, she suffered. She went and did all this money and paid for it and everything to lose weight for her health so she could be around for the kids. And she still struggles. She's not supposed to eat certain because when she dealt, when you guys do this, you're not, there's certain foods you can't eat. Of because, course. Or drink. So I don't know. You know? So now Elka doesn't go on, brag about it, and tell everybody about this stuff, right? She yeah. suffers. But Mary Jo goes out, contacts a woman named Alex who's a feminist. That's why I don't know her from. An Thanks. activist, yeah. An activist gets her all up, fires up this girl, and now she's attacking my wife. She's attacking my wife. This she's is where the problem. Well, she this is where. Sorry, Mackenzie, go ahead. No, you're good. Uh, it's just the fact that she put that whole part on that podcast with that, but when you really look into it, she was calling like my dad a pig and everything. But no one, she doesn't talk about that either. She only talks about the bad parts we say, but. No one really understands what she says either. Right. That's what no. She's only taking her part. Yeah. So yeah. here's the different guys, right? Here's the different. I'll, I'll come to you guys and I'll show you the evidence. There's even one that somebody actually went on and last August, something about her with this picture. She found a painting somewhere, right? The guy gets, now this, her story changes every three minutes. Now, I don't know why people don't call her out, but what happened was the guy died, a homeless man, and somebody made a comment and said, you know what? You took his picture. You could have helped this guy out. You could have donated money. You could have even bought him a couch. You could have done something. 
And this whole thing is based on that whole thing about this guy's painting in August. Wow. So she's not just, it's not just me, guys. She wants you to think it's Jake. Jay only said a few bad words. I'm sorry. You know what? But you're defending yourself, though, because she's and, been saying stuff. Hey, man, it's, it's okay. Hey, listen. It's all right. You you're can only get... Drug. You can only... You, <laughs> but let me ask you, though. But let me yeah. ask you, though. How do you know that they were going to... How do you know they wanted to bring that? They said That's that. my question. No, they, they actually said, said it. Now, they, um, wow. So, yeah, they act, one guy actually said, I live down the street, right, by Anton Untouch Street, which is a bad gang area. Let's say every neighborhood, you have your good and bad areas. Yeah. Well, that area, I mean, they, they're known for shootouts. They're known for drugs. They're known for violence. So the guy says, hey, I live right down the street, right? I'll bring X, Y, Z. That's when Elka said, not me, guys. I had almost nothing to say with this. She yeah. said, guys. So when she came over, she said, listen, yeah. just don't give out my, my, my address. And they said, well, everybody knows you and... We said, yeah, in the paranormal field. I said, the mayor knows us because we do arts and crafts. We, we the, the chief of police knows us because he brought Mackenzie home, right? Yeah. So he, they know her. But you know what? Damn, Some Mackenzie! Of the, <laughs> <laughs> well, some of the kids that Mackenzie was in school with as a little kid, they yeah. actually joined the gangs. You see them flying their colors around, but they're respectful people. And they're like, yeah. Mr. Yapel, right? But the people you don't want are the people that are like, Geez, there's a party here. You know what? I'm going to come no, and have yeah. some fun. Yeah. So this is what happened. So Alka said, you know what? And Alka's such a sweetheart. You guys know Alka. She yeah. said, I don't mind if you guys, right, go live, but go live on Paranormal. She goes, matter of fact, you guys can do this. Mary Jo says, no, I'm done with all the assholes and losers. Now, she's referring to her followers. She called them assholes and losers. I'm like, wow, that's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty hardcore. But wow. I left it alone. I didn't say one word. She's messed up like that. That's what it is. So, yeah, I don't want to get in it. <laughs> right. So now, after that, we left it alone. We, we said, do whatever you want. You guys can stay here, and that's it. Now, guys, I go next door. We have rings. Now, I'm going to show you something, guys. Everything I do, I prove it, right? Yeah, he's got, I tell you, he's, he's done a lot of research. I have to say. This is amazing. Yeah. It took us almost like a couple of days just yeah. to print out everything and get everything. This is a ring. You can believe that we're watching you from. Now, these run, there's a blue light, not a red LCD, right? Yeah. We don't use night vision, right? <laughs> God, I, I, I mean, I, I'm not like staking out somebody's place in a foreign <laughs> country, right? I, I'm not down in like El Salvador going, we made the draw. Quick, you know, get the vehicle ready, right? No. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a it's a blue light. Now it's motion sensor. Now, what she's trying to tell everybody is that she has a ring at home that every time the light goes on, I mean, that means I'm spying on her. If you're that paranoid, then you got something in your closet. Yeah, you must be hiding something. You're hiding something. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, but, that is true. That is true. Why are you so worried about being watched? You're here to paranormal investigate. You're not here to do anything else. Right. So what are you so right. worried right. about? Well, at the Abbey, okay, they have cameras everywhere. That is why you're from the room. Care, but when you came here, yeah, exactly. I'd so bet to see that. You know, I, I, yeah. I remember mm -hmm. I had friends that, that they were back oh, in the 90s. They did crack, right? And it's nothing, right? And they were paranoid. They, every time they heard her knock on the door, it was the dream police. They thought, oh, my God, right? They're oh, yeah. I'm like, what are you guys doing? I, yeah. I just came over because I was working. I thought I was back then. I, I was having a beer. I'm like, what are you guys doing? There's no there's no, there's no, no police in trees, you know? It's, this isn't like Goodfellas where they're hiding in bushes, you know? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah. That's what she was making you guys sound like is that we were stalking her. Now, could you imagine this? I'm disabled. I'm going to sit there for the whole night watching her all the way to seven in the morning, right? She's yeah. No. Right. We it just motion sensed. We didn't watch her at all. That's because that's how honest we are. We're like, okay, we have every to time hear he lies, he rubs his nose, I noticed that. Oh, so now what yeah. happens after that and I didn't want to bring this up because this is personal. I mean this is I would never would do that to anybody, but it's part of her story. Well she tells about it all the time, so, so it's her story. No, you do. I and I admit, guys, I did look at the ring one time because here's what I heard. Hey, hey, hey. Boom, boom, boom on the walls, right? I'm thinking, oh, my God, maybe they need help. There's an emergency. So I, I click on my phone. Now, this is late at night. 
All right, Elka's in bed. I look at it. I'm like, no way. I'm like, they're banging on the walls. Bang, bang, bang. Then she stands there. She grabs her stomach like this. Okay, okay, okay. I'm like, uh-huh, what the hell? No, no. Yeah, you see me now? You like what you're seeing? And she's like, I'm like, guys, I'm in the law form, right? I'm on. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, that's me. I'm too honest. Right? I want you guys to know what really happened. So I'm like, holy crap. What just happened? What What am I seeing? So now I, I don't want to go to bed because I'm asking myself, you know what? If I know you for a year and I see you do that, you know what? I know you're just blowing off steam. But if I don't know you and I know what you said about other people, I don't know if you're going to come through my house with a chain. I, I did. I was, thank God I wasn't there because Mary Jo would have had a TBI too. Uh, she called my daughter. She said something about Mackenzie. And what was, what did she say about Corny? She called my daughter retarded. She goes, your other daughter hides upstairs no, because no. she's She said, retarded. I'll be hiding our other child because she's mentally retarded. That's fucked that up. That pissed me off. That was messed up. <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's yeah. not right. Do it. Oh, my God, have mercy on your soul. <laughs> oh, my God. That's funny. And you know what you could get is a toilet flushing in the background. You just flush <laughs> down the drain. <laughs> that's good. You know, the funny thing is, is these people act like... Uh, I really give a shit if they like me or not. You know what I mean? The whole problem yep. is, is that you know, it's just that they can't uh, hear it is right here. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I like that. They can't handle it. So, you know, they, they try to do the little bullshit attacks on people like yourselves. You know what I mean? Like they try yep. to bully people around. They talk about bullies, right? That when you call one of them out, you're a bully, right? But. Yep. They're really the bullies, you know what I mean? And they're, you know, when you call one of them out, they all stick together. They're like, yep. Yep. click. Mm -hmm. Oh, I swear to God, I, I love you so much. And then two seconds later, talk to the other person. They really are assholes, but, you know, we all. Yes, yes. You know, yeah, it's together. true. You know, yeah. one of us assholes have to stick together. And you know what? I haven't mentioned one name about any of them, but they're all looking at each other right now. He knows he's talking about me. I know. Mm -hmm. that, yeah, lace, lace that bitch up, tie it. Yep, it's yours. You earned it. Mm -hmm. uh, what my plan is to do is get a poster. You're going to hit me in the eyes with your hand. Like, get a poster of a ghost on a toilet and put it in the bathroom and say, this is the Hall of Fame of Wall for the special person. Oh, yeah. No, no, <laughs> oh, yeah. no, no you got to make it the spooky dookie wall. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I'm going to spray paint, though, the toilet gold and said, you're now sitting on a shitter that an actress was on, a very famous yeah. person in her mind. Yeah. That, was, that was bad, though. I mean, when I came over there, I, had was... to, I should have got my gas mask, my military one. I should have yeah. went over with it. You know, you know oh, who, who I give a medal of honor to is Elka. Oh, yeah. When we came over, I didn't know if they sprayed, like, something. So we we're, we couldn't breathe. It was choking out Mackenzie and everything. <laughs> So we know stairs and there's all these bad towels everywhere. So I'm thinking, okay, not, not a big deal. Elka comes in, she goes, I'm gonna vomit. She takes off. So she comes over later <laughs> and she picks up all the towels. And, you know, like do, 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 do. So as we're sitting in the car when the phone call came over, Elka's driving. My buddy's in the back. El my friend's in the car. Her, her friend's in the car. And Hammy's like, uh, I gotta clear my. I, I have to clear my content. I was like, what's going on? He goes, well, you know that pizza thing. I'm like, no, what's going on? He goes, well, I goes, it had nothing to do with me. He goes, all those towels, Let all those face cloths. He goes, MJ had exploding fucking diarrhea and she used everything in your bathroom. Mm. And he goes, it wasn't me, Jay. He goes, I, mm. I'm telling you, I hear moaning sounds all night. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, what? And Elka's driving, right? And she's like, I'm, I'm going to get sick. I touched those. I, I washed them. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, I'm like, Yes, it wasn't me. I didn't touch any shit at all. <laughs> I'm on the record. And she's like, I'm going to freaking kill you. I'm like, yep, not me. Yep. Oh, that image man. was in my head. It's like, you know, I was housing, like, you heard me. Yeah, Why did you do that? Back, I'm like, then they cry and yeah. say, boo hoo, you bullied Why me. Why did you? My feelings, but you started it. Well, well, it's fun to toilet paper and, and spray. I'm like, why didn't she just open it up and get more toilet paper? She went to two rolls, he said. So Hemi's like, it's not me. It's not me. I feel like playing that song by CCR. It's not me. It's not me. I'm not the fortunate one, you know? And uh, yeah, 
And then after he was done, I'm like, don't ever say anything. Keep it quiet. We, oh, my God. Look at this one. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. You need <laughs> you need the bunny with the gas mask in the case. Yes. Oh, my God. Get the rabbit with a helmet and the gas mask. Yeah. With the leather like, chains. Yeah. Oh, my God. I, when I, Dude. Store, I had to, like, step on the porch and get outside because it was, like, reeky in the porch, yeah. too. Just don't yell. Go ahead. Put, put that back on, right? Mm -hmm. Just don't yell. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Yeah. I'm like, now say it. Say I can't breathe. She's a prepper. She's a prepper. I don't think you guys are horrible. <laughs> Welcome Welcome to John this. and Brandon, what? your show just got canceled for a long time. Welcome uh, to the shit show. Nobody can cancel my show. <laughs> they, wait, they've tried. <laughs> they've tried. They've tried to oh, cancel the show. They're going to try. Fired. That's the oh funny God. thing. You know, nobody can keep for me. This now. Stop, oh, no. it. Stop it. Stop it. We're yeah. going to put this on the door in the bathroom for the wall of fame. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I really think so. I mean, I've never smelled something so oh bad God. before. I mean, really. I mean, right. it's bad. I know. Well, so. I guess I worked too long in the medical field. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you were you were upstairs repairing communication lines, and every time you did, though, the rabbits would come. So you were catching. What did you say? Fat charming? To uh, Donuts appreciated. Guys, I think she's looking for donuts. So I can't. I'm my I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see it. Fat sh I wait. Fat shaming again. Oh, okay. Fat I, I, shaming I, again, yeah. All those years of uh CS gas, I mean it screws you up. Zip it. So anyhow. Go back. Let me go back. So anyhow, this is where it gets you think this is crazy. What the hell? Who is that? Rectal, I can't read, oh God, guys. I don't. Nothing is that better. rectal paranormal? <laughs> what? I can't. Rectal, yeah. Rectal, rectum paranormal. Rectum hell and alien killer. It's kind of sad that she has nothing yeah. better to do with. Oh, her. she's a beautiful woman, guys. All we can do is 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 praise Jesus for people like that in the world because they keep us on our toes because that makes us realize they're psychotic no, people. But it's sad. She has nothing better. It's to nothing do else better. Life. Well, you know what? She was a well, fat hang person. Hang on. I'm hang on. Sorry. Hang on. I didn't say that. I said P H A T. The, the right. good thing, the good thing about it is her keep commenting and joining the show is she's doing nothing but your baby. Well, I think saying. she probably didn't went to school because I mean the way she spelled. Well, I now. think she grew up in a in a farm in a field. Hey okay, guys. All right. Anyhow, I'm not saying that. No, I shouldn't say because farmers are really. Good. Your your wife is ashamed because of Mary Jo. Yes, Mary Jo, my wife is ashamed of you because you're a slob. Yes. Would you guys stop now? That's why she put oh, Miss Piggy up there. Anyhow, I, you come on, I like you know, fucking people down. So <laughs> I like fucking shredding people. Come on, it's always better. It's always fun when you can shred somebody who can shred back. Because, uh, it's, it's fucking All right. You can't pick on handicapped people. Like she, <clears throat> she called this one handicapped person awful things. What did she say? A coke. I can't read her writing. Right. So anyhow, guys, let's get back to reality. <laughs> oh, here comes the guy that she cheats on. Oh. Yep. Bill, your wife has had more golf clubs <laughs> and golf balls there than, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't even know you guys, and the stories I hear from the guy in New Hampshire, the other guy. So when she goes to these paracons, I would fucking put a <laughs> box on. So oh, I am. I am. All right, forget about it. So anyhow. William Chudley. I don't know who that is. No, it's Bill. I, I forget about it. So anyhow, let's get back to reality. What is it? All right, Porky the Pig. All right, so anyhow, I didn't say nothing. I'm, I'm looking at the thing on the bottom. So somebody said Porky the Pig. And then she said, prove it, that she's not Porky the Pig. What the fuck, Elka? Fluffingool, right? She work at six Somebody months. said Porky Pig, and then she says, prove it. She must have worked Can you show months. a picture, Mary Jo, so that everybody knows what you look like, so we can get on with this? All right, so, guys, yeah. And then I also have a high school kid, which I don't know if I can let them around do. Right. Right. She said, leave if you don't like it. I they don't can't. They're can. hemorrhoids. Nobody, nobody <laughs> forces you if you don't like it. Go. They don't have nothing I mean, else but it. They're losers, Oka. I mean, everyone is tired of okay, listening. Okay, listen. Listen, there's other people I mean, listening. Don't, don't do this here because she's, you know what? She no. didn't even want to stay because she came over because she said she was locked up at no, Mac and Drecky's basement sorry, and was raped by a chicken. Not even there. Just, All right, yeah. so let's not talk. Poor chicken. Africa so anyhow, wants us to stop HIV AIDS in Africa.
So just so you know, that person right there behind there is John Curry. I know him, investigated once with him, calls his team HAPS. And when I met him the one time with another investigator that we won't say no names, um, we went to a place and it was one big shit show, but I got the investigate a cool location. Didn't get anything, but it was cool. But then found he's on a tap team. And being on a tap team, that means with Jason Halls and, you know, ghost hunters, you need to be a decent person. You're going into people's homes. You're going into people's homes. Um, I go into people's homes, but I'm not saying, calling people Oprah, um, talking about their weight, constantly saying the R word, meaning the mentally challenged, you know, word that they that these men like to call people, um, screaming at ghosts, telling them you're going to answer me. There is a, a nice video that was sent to me by somebody that they made or their group made or whoever made, um, about these people. They, so Elkie and Jay thought it was a good idea to go on his podcast and Every time Jay slandered me, laughed at me, made fun of me, fat shamed me, sexual comments about something I did, whatever, that I didn't do, whatever, there's three men sitting there laughing. Three men. And what I have to say is if any man would do that, you're not a man, you're just a bitch, is what you are. Because John, I've seen you at Paracons. Your fucking ass went underneath the table when I walked by. Okay, because again, I'm going to say it to your face. I'm not going to be mean. I'm not going to be disrespectful. I'm not going to sit there and start at a Paracon. I'm not like that at all. Not like that. But when you sit there and you're right across from the table from me at the, at the bash last year, and every time I looked at you, you went like this and freaked out because you're fucking guilty. And then you sat there and had this show. And as soon as my ass went on and started commenting, you bitched up. Why'd you bitch up? Oh, now all of a sudden you want me on your show. I'm not going to be on your show, dude. You're not going to use me, laugh at me, have no respect for any woman at all. No woman at all. Because I don't care if you don't like me, but it's a respect thing. And now if, if it was vice versa and I had Jay on my podcast, if I had a podcast and that man would do that, I'd be like, um, you need to shut it down. You need to be respectful. You need to shut it down. And that's what I would say. I would not sit there and laugh. I would, I'd be like, you know what, you, you come on this form to talk, talk, but don't be disrespectful. And I'd be damned if I would be laughing. And that's just the kind of human you, you all three of you men are. And I, I feel bad if you have wives. I feel bad if you have daughters. I do, because you have no respect. No respect whatsoever. And I'm glad that people saw that little clip of Jay freaking out. I'm glad they saw it, because they also saw it you as a grown ass man, John, laughing, laughing. And this is so funny to you, right? So funny to you. And I really hope Tap sees this shit. I really hope Tap sees that video that you put out about Tony. I really do. Like me and Tony don't talk. We don't get along. Nothing. We don't get along. Video was proven that you guys are the frauds that you threw stuff or you, you fake something and you sitting there screaming at spirits to talk to you. And you probably don't get no evidence because you're disrespectful to them. I wouldn't want to talk to you either. But it just goes to show your character. And I'm sorry, if I was somebody and you came into my house and you talked to my the, the spirits in my house like that, and you talk about real investigators and you're not a bully, you are a fucking bully. You are a bully when you sit there watch another bully mess with a woman and her husband when we're trying to defend ourselves because we found out that, that jay was on there we jumped on and found oh god we're not blocked because al or eric vitaly blocked us as soon as as soon as he made that post at that wall as soon as i knew i went on there to see if i could get on i was already blocked but you didn't block me from that youtube you blocked me from facebook but you've got to block me from youtube but you kept me on there for views as your friend i don't even know his name but i'll, I'll make sure i put it in the comments somewhere um he says oh yeah you're just bringing uh uh more public people to our forum you're just bringing him more views yeah you're damn right i'm bringing him more views and this 
right here, it's going to give him more views too. Because he's going to see what an asshole all of these are. And you know what? If you think it's funny, this, that, and the other. Oh, well, yeah, we got him. Yeah, let her think what she wants. Yeah, let, let me think what I want. Because when you go somewhere, people are going to remember what you did. And remember you're an asshole. And remember that you did that. And when I see you at, a, at an event, a like a haunt location, I'm going to say you're an asshole. Because you are an asshole. Because you can sit behind a computer, but you won't go say somebody, somebody's face and laugh in somebody's face. Because you're an asshole. Just like Jay. Jay's an asshole. Jay's the biggest asshole along the lines with Eric Fatale and Scott Shumas and all of them. Okay? An asshole. And I don't know why Jay keeps bringing Matt Warner up and Scott Shumas keeps bringing Matt Warner up. Because I've never fucking said a word to any of them about Matt Warner. Never even once said it to Jay. That's Scott Shumas in your ear. Because they think, oh, Matt, Matt Warner, he'll, he'll, you know, he'll shut her up. We're just going to talk some more bullshit about her. No. Me and Matt had an issue. And I said, hey, you have an issue with me? Nope, not at all. It's just drama. Drama just always follows me. I'm like, okay, good. We're good. Whatever. Like I said, if I'm going to say something, I'm going to tell you to your fucking face. I don't have to hide behind a computer. Not like you guys sit there and say, I'm doing all this stuff when you know damn well I'm not. And I just proved it's all wrong. So, you know... You reap what you, you sow, and I hope this comes back at all of you with what you've done to the paranormal community because you're the reason why everybody is in an uproar. You guys, people like you, people like you don't have enough balls to actually stand up and call somebody, to actually stand up and, t and just talk. You don't. You're ballless. That's all. Let's call you ballless. That's all. The ballless men. So now we're going to jump back to... Mr. J again about the house and the stuff that I did. Um, you know how ring cameras work, dude. You're in the military. You're supposed to be smart, whatever. Okay. You supposedly wired your whole fucking house down the basement. And you wonder why that big field goes down there. You don't know what, you don't know what it was called. Um, you learned that from Boston and Chris. Um, that's what you walk around saying. I'm like, yeah, you don't even know what the hell it is because you don't even know what you're saying. But why would me, if anybody knows me, I would not grab my stomach and shake my boobs in front of a camera. Why would I do that? Why would I say, Jay, look at me? Maybe that's in your thick skull or your, your disgusting mind. That's what you wanted me to do. But why would I do that? Because you know what? Even if I did do that, that would be damaging to me. So why would I do that in front of a ring camera? Because you know, every time a ring camera goes on, it records. I don't know if you're just too stupid to realize that, but it records. So where's all your proof, Jay? Where's your proof? You say you have proof of everything. Everything. I don't say nothing unless it's, I have proof. You, you've shown shit. You've shown one message of me when I first messaged you about this whole thing. And that's pretty much about it in hammies. You have not shown anything else. And a couple of comments on Facebook. That's it. Where's all this slander stuff that you have of me? Because you're going to need it for court. I guarantee it, you're going to need it for court. So I hope you pull it out of your ass or you, you just, you're going to find it on your ring somewhere because you're going to need it. You're going to need it when we go to court. Because the more I sit here and watch this, the more mad I get at how much you disrespect it and try to destroy me. Not knowing what I had. And thank God being the investigator that I am, I had the proof to prove that you're a fucking liar. And that's why I'm doing this. I'm not doing this for any other reason, but you could have destroyed me if I didn't have this proof. It would be my word against yours. You're sitting here crying on social media um, that I bullied you and I did all this shit to you. And I did not. Um, I did not. And this is a reason why I opened my mouth and said, just go into court and suing the shit and owning the demon house. Okay. Because again, your child owns it. Your child just slandered me. Your wife owns the house. She had death threats against me. You, I don't know where you come and fucking pawn this. I guess your disability, but I can't get that from you. But you know, you gave me death threats and you slandered the shit out of me. Defamation of character. That was the word I was looking for. And when I told my lawyer what you've done, he was like, um, you don't even need a season to assist at this point. I said, no, I don't. That's why I'm coming to you. But I also know that I come out and telling people this because I don't want nothing else happen to anybody else that goes to your house because you've done it to multiple, 
multiple other teams. I had people reach out to me that I don't even know that was there months and months and months before me saying we had the same thing. We didn't get no, we didn't get nothing. We didn't get nothing. He was mad and he was sitting there belittling us. And then you called Joe Frankie saying you're having so much activity. You can't stand it anymore. Why would you call Joe Frankie to have a podcast or not a podcast? I'm sorry. Why would you call Joe Frankie? If it's so bad, so bad in that house, you can't live in it. Why would you call him when you have investigators every week? They right? don't get shit. Only thing we saw is a lens flare picture. That's all I've ever seen you show me. You live in the demon house, supposedly, that's so haunted that your kids don't sleep, but you haven't caught shit yet. You haven't caught anything. Yeah, Joe Frankie caught stuff. He did. He also cleaned your house. There's nothing there. So this is why I am standing up to you guys that are the bullies that have been slandering people because this shit needs to stop. If people don't like me for it, you know what? I can sleep better knowing I did this now. I can sleep better that I know that you're not going to do this to somebody else. You're not going to have a male come in your fucking house and say, because you don't want to sit there and listen to your lies and your deception for your house and say, you touched my daughter. That's what I'm more worried about. Nothing about this fucking house, about evidence, is that you're going to say that some man touched your daughter. Because you said it to about my husband, about another teenager. You said it to another investigator, and he's going to hopefully come out and say it. You said it to another investigator, I know that you were in the room with my daughter, and she said you touched me. You are a fucking pig, okay? You and your wife, because your wife said the same fucking thing to Alex, and she sent me the voice message. And then your wife tried to erase it before, but thank God she recorded it saying that I said this about an, a, somebody in your area. You call people hoods around you, your town a hood, that you have drug and alcohol, that we're drug and alcohol people. I work in a fucking medical field, asshole. If you didn't know that, okay, that can be damaging to me. That I'm on drugs and alcohol, but I already told you on that on when you were in that pocket. Let's do a drug test, Jay. Let's do a drug test. Come on, let's pull some fucking hair out. We're we're not even going to do the saliva blood shit. We're going to do some fucking. Well, I think you have hair. I'm looking at your picture down here. I think you got some fucking hair in there. Let's do a drug test, all of us. I dare you to bring Scott Shumas and fucking Matt Kadraki in. Let's all fucking do a drug test. Let's use on fucking drugs. Let's see, because I guarantee half you motherfuckers are. I guarantee it, but you're going to sit there and call me a fucking drug addict, call my husband, call one of my best friends who's recovering, you know, um, drug, you know, did drugs for, oh, he's been recovered for 10 fucking years and you're going to call him a fucking drug addict. Yeah, I don't think so, dude. It's not going to happen. You're not going to destroy the people that I love and you're not going to destroy the people that I respect in this fucking field. I'll tell you that right now. You, you, you brought the fucking Warrens too. I bash the warrants. I have fucking weed wrapped around my finger. Fuck you, asshole. Are you, are you jealous because I'm friends with them? Because I respect them? Is that why you brought them up? Because I respect them and you don't? And that you didn't like fucking Dan? I shut you to fuck down when you were on the phone with me? Is that why, Dan? Is that why? So you know what? It, it's going to stop here, Jay. It's going to stop here. Because once the lawsuit goes in, it's going to damage your reputation and anybody comes to your house. You can't use them anymore. You can't say this shit anymore. You said it about Matt saying Matt was using your fucking house for some kind of underage and young girl that he was bringing in there. That's in your text messages twice. And you even sent it to Alyssa. I'm going to put that up too. So that's how many men have you said that were some kind of a rapist or, you know, child porn, whatever you're saying. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but you're doing this to men. You're doing this to men. And my husband was right. I'm glad that you went after me because I have enough balls, not like, you know, the other ones, ballesses, you know, the podcast ballas, um, to stand up to you because most people won't, but I will. And if anybody comes in your house and you do this too, I want them to reach out to me. 
because I will help you. We'll do what we have to do because the shit like this needs to stop in our field because it's already bad enough with hatred and drama and child shit. But when you have somebody who's going to sit here and tell people that you, people are touching your daughter and then when we were at your house and you come into the live, I already know you had told me about your daughter, about something that supposedly happened. I'm not saying it did or it did, but I'm kind of questioning that now, but I'm not because I think your daughter's sweet. And I feel bad for her having parents like you. I feel bad. And I hope this gets to Enfield. And I'm sure it will. Because Alyssa's dad is a detective and her husband works in the police system. So I hope they get this video and maybe they look at this and see what you're doing to some of these grown men that come into your fucking location and they're saying shit in their location because it needs to stop. It does. You need to be shut down and not have a business because this is bad that you're, you've only been open for a couple months and this is what happened. This is what happened. And you've lied so many times. Everybody on the internet's asked you for proof of what you said about me. That you all say you have proof and you would not have one piece of paper, not one text message, nothing. But you said that I said this when I came into, when you guys broke into the, when you guys came into the house for the live, you have, Elkie has like three different stories and they're pretty fucking bad stories too. They're not even like little white lies. Oh, I kind of messed up. I thought I said this. No, very graphic, graphic. And if something happens to your daughter because she gets raped by somebody, it's our fault. It's my fault. Because I had a live at your house that you knew about. But you were pissed that your town was seeing it. So I don't know what else is going on under the surface with you and your house. Or maybe you're not allowed to do it. I don't know. But it's going to stop with me and anybody else that needs to hear this because anybody that walks in your house needs to be, be careful because again, if Matt Kadraki did do this shit, like you said, was bringing underage girls to lure them in for sex, that's your words, into your house that you knew he was doing it to and then you post pictures of, of Mackenzie at a haunted location with Matt taking pictures. So right there, it shows that you're a compulsive liar because I'll tell you right now, if I knew that, and that was my daughter, that motherfucker would never be near my daughter. Ever. Ever. Okay? But you let your daughter go on locations with him. But you sit there and tell me four or five months before what he's done in your own home. So figure that one out. So everybody, it's up on them to what they want to believe. I will do a live tonight. Um... I'm just finishing up now. It is what, seven o'clock in the morning. I still have to put all the pictures and videos and edit all this crap out. Um, so I probably won't be sleeping. So it probably be around like five, six o'clock tonight, maybe, maybe six, seven o'clock. I'll, I'll be doing a live. Jay, you're more than welcome to fucking come on. I would love to see your smiling face and what you have to say about this bullshit. Cause I'm sure there'll be more bullshit that you're going to say. And the death threats are going to stop. You will not make, you and Elkie will not never make another death threat again because I am going to take the other ones because I didn't watch all your videos. I watched them today. Multiple death threats. Multiple now. Not just one, multiple. Um, and I will take them to the police. I will also take to the police that you said that I impersonated a police officer twice. And I know the police officer called you because there's a report on it. Um... And let them know what you said about that as well. Um, yeah, because I'm sure there's going to be more lies coming out today. Um, and you're, I'm sure you'll be calling everybody and trying to get everybody on your side, which is fine. Do it, but I'm the one who has the proof, not you. I am the one who has the proof. And you're not good people at all. And I just had to prove it. I had to be the bitch to prove it. And that's fine. I can live with that. Because that's a man that doesn't go to jail. And that's an innocent man that doesn't ruin the rest of his life because of you, I'll be happy being the bitch. I'll be happy. You know, that's what, it, that's what it takes to be a good person. Fuck it. I'm the bitch. So I'm going to put this together and I will see whoever wants to watch tonight. 
Um, I'm going to try to go on multiple um, locations, like multiple things, because my, my, my YouTube doesn't have a big, big number because I don't really use it as much. I don't use it at all. Um, so I'm going to try to do a, a streaming thing. If not, I'm just going to have three phones going off and we'll do it on all three of my accounts, which would be Pen Paranormal, which I have 150,000 followers. I will do it on TikTok, which I have 400,000 followers on it, and I will do it on my YouTube. So watch me on one of them. If you want to comment and talk, I will try to get as many people I can talk to as once. It'd be kind of hard, but I, I will do it. Okay. Again, I wasted three days of my life trying to get this shit together. And it was a godsend because I didn't know half the shit was going on until I watched these videos and putting two to two together, seeing what these, this family is doing to men and women, you know, um, this is what God wanted me to do. And I did it. So I, and I don't regret it. And Jay, next time I see you, it will be in court. And I hope you lure the fuck up. Like you said, it's $30,000. It's going to be a lot more than that for you. I guarantee you that this is complete slander and this is complete bullshit and you have nothing and I have everything. And I hope you find out who Mr. Um, Francis, I don't know who this guy is, whatever the fake person that we all think that Amanda East did. Um, that, okay, again, we think, we don't know because we can't know, we don't know, but we think Amanda did because of her pictures. Um, we don't know who it is, but I'm going to find out if I can find out who it is. Okay, I don't know if we can. I asked the lawyer and he's looking into it to see what we can do. Um, because I want to find out who it is. Because it sure fucking ain't me. And whoever it is, it's somebody that obviously knows me because it's only going to the people that are attacking me in that group. So, um, so have a good night. Okay. And I, well not good night, good day because it's daytime now. And I will see you all tonight. Okay. Thanks, guys. Sorry for the long rant, but it needed to happen. And it needed to happen. It needed to happen now.